Hello, this is a, uh, I guess you could call it a memorial video for a game mechanic. A few videos back I put in and ripped out a heat mechanic. Now I'm going to rip out a mechanic I thought for sure would make it to the end game, which is the wiring mechanic. So I'm going to take you through base creation as it stands at the moment. So all of these have a, spe a specific uh, uh, reason for existing, but for now I'm just going to take these two. And the reason is because I want to make the device terminal operational. But uh, it actually requires you to do a little bit of, of uh, pre-planning here to get it to work right here. Um, and that means that the terminal has to be on the second floor, not the first. And the reason for that is because it's almost impossible to wire the terminal correctly if it's on the first floor. Oh, I'm going to probably faint here. No, no, it looks like we're going to hit 50. Yep, there we go. I'm okay. So now I'm going to plug the device terminal in over here. Now if I try and use it, it's unpowered, so I have to wire it. Wiring only acts through walls, and this is the mechanic I'll be taking out, so I'm showing it off to you to show you why I'm taking it out. Now that it's wired, I have these, th these five options, but I want to show you how the coprocessor works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in two burners, and these will reduce my plastic resource, but also provide me with energy. And the reason I need to do that is because otherwise this little starting brick won't be able to handle the amount of energy I need. Uh, so I also want to build some coprocessors. Coprocessors uh, are a cute little way to enhance the number of uh, uh, blueprints that I get. So I wire this here, uh, wire this here, and wire this here and wire this here. There we go. Now previously there were five and now you'll see there are eight. Each of the coprocessors gave us an, another one of these. So you might, uh, you might think that uh, that wasn't too complicated but the problem is that it's really quite restrictive. Um, it's difficult to build a base however you want it to be built when you have to build it like this every single time. So I'm going to be ripping out the wiring requirements and replacing them with a more generic power supply system where as long as you've got enough power your devices are on or are powerable. Um, and that's kind of a cop-out from my perspective. I didn't want to have to do that because uh, I really liked the theory that I could get more gameplay out of this wiring. Um, but it just didn't turn out to be true. So I'm going to continue building the base to show you where it stands. Uh, and we have the device terminal still in our inventory, but we don't need that. We've already got a fully functional device terminal. Uh, the air flow is so strong that I actually have to wait until a little bit of equilibrium is found before I can sink. Come on. There we go. We don't need this device terminal, but we do need a lifestyle terminal, and we'll go ahead and grab the door in the glass while we're here. It's in the middle of the night, in case you're wondering why it's so dark, but dawn is coming. So here we've got the same situation, but uh, we're going to go ahead and start with the coprocessors right off the bat and we'll just wire everything up together so this here, this here, and this here. I think actually there, yeah, so we didn't actually need that fourth burner and you can see that we've got a bunch of options here for screens and plants and so on so we're gonna ditch some of the stuff we don't need um, like this, we no longer need any of this stuff and we're gonna take some of the stuff that we wanted to use for our room and now we're going to go over to the other side and build ourselves a little room. And I'm going to build it to be uh, too high, like this. Uh, there we go. But I'm not going to uh, use the normal walls. I'm going to use glass walls. I accidentally made the wrong one glass there. There we are. And glass walls are a little bit cool because they allow us to uh, see through. Come on, 
the walls, which means that we'll get lots and lots of air, I mean lots and lots of sun uh, when the sun is in the sky. And we're also going to make the floor here glass. Just make everything glass just to show you that I can. Now glass is uh, um, glass is something which is uh, something you can stand on. So if you accidentally put down a block of glass, you have to get rid of it. So we're going to put in a door here, and uh, night is falling again because I've got it really fast here. And we'll put a bed, and the bed still works, so you can get on it and go to sleep. But we got a lot more stuff we can do. Let's go ahead and put a plant here and a plant here. That way we'll get some independent airflow into our room. And let's put a screen here, and that will have to be wired. Again, the wiring system is being torn out, but it's not torn out yet. Oh, wait, the screen does not actually take any energy. I'm sorry, that was a mistake on my part. Uh, the screen is uh, energyless. Uh, and then we want a lit wall, which we'll put here. Uh, yeah, that's kind of stylish. But we don't want that to be on when we're in bed, so we'll go ahead and put a button here. And I'm, this is the programming system, and I'm going to be keeping the programming system. Uh, so this is going to remain the same. But now that the button is hooked up to those, I can turn them off by going in front of the button and pressing up. See? We also want to build a bureau, because right now we've built this nice little alcove, but our character doesn't really know that it's an alcove for him or her. Um, so we're going to go here, and now this is a, a, a bureau which can be assigned to a specific person. Our character happens to be named Zay. It's random, there are 52 names. Um, so we'll click. And you can see that it's auto-detected the room in question, including the door. So now Zay considers this to be her, I think it's a her own personal door. Um, and now this is considered to be their room. Uh, if they were an NPC, then they would automatically inhabit this room whenever they wanted to. Uh, now, this actually has a light attached to it, so we're going to go ahead and put that on the button as well, so that it will also get turned off. Oh, it's um, it's going in the opposite uh, uh, sync of patience there. Now, that button is there, and we can go to sleep and wait for the dawn. Now, I'm getting rid of the wiring because the wiring adds in a lot of complexity that doesn't seem to add anything to the game. It adds constraints to the base building without adding any kind of fun to the actual base building. So I'm just going to get rid of it. And I don't think I'll be replacing it with anything because it turns out that the airflow stuff has been a lot more entertaining than I thought it would be. And I think that the base can be almost entirely configured around airflow concerns. Um, so that I think is going to be the major feature for the base. Uh, managing your NPCs abroad is also going to be a major feature, of course and uh, that will be not available by this weekend uh, but in the end the final reason for this base to exist is to have NPCs in it and those NPCs go out and do things and you can direct them as they do so. Um, if you have any thoughts on the uh, uh, detail level, I mean on the on the difficulty level of building a base I'm happy to hear them um, but I think that this method of wiring is definitely not suitable. It uh, it puts too many constraints in, and it makes it too difficult to build. Uh, I may end up putting in some uh, a lot of, of similar constraints. For example, I have these uh, these coils have to be next to the uh, computer terminal, and I may actually have like a, a continuous linking system where uh, computer systems have to be adjacent to each other, or factory systems have to be adjacent to each other in order to combine well. And I think that will create enough complexity in terms of layout. Um, so all told, that's just the update for this Friday. Uh, I'll probably put something out on Saturday that ha or Sunday rather that has all of the power um, wiring requirements ripped out. Uh, but it's going to be rather basic without those requirements in. Um, so it's uh, it's not going to be a terribly complicated prototype, but you can still play with it.